So we have created a new pod or custom content type and we've added some specific fields to include the data that we want. We've set up a book and now we can add the publisher, the publishing date and the book author. What we're going to do now is control how we can present that easily and automatically to the people actually looking at the books we add to our site. To do that, we're going to use a feature called templates. It's disabled by default. We're going to click on components under the pods admin area, and there's going to be a whole series of more advanced pods features in here. We're going to choose the templates feature. We're going to click on enable. And once it's enabled, templates should appear as a drop down under components. So we have a new pod template called the books template. And what we're going to do is actually reference the fields and the options that we have from our books. So on the right hand side, under pod reference, I'm going to select books. And it's going to suggest all of the different things that we can add to our template from the book author to the publishing date to the publisher to the number of comments to the type of post to the actual author of the post or the title of the post all of that's going to be available to us we are going to have to write just a little bit of HTML but to get started let's show you how the template system works we're going to use these squiggly brackets I like to call them and also the at sign and with the addition of those uh, those braces or squiggly brackets and the at sign we're going to get an automatic list of all the things we can add to our site in this case we've added the publisher the publishing date and the book author so those are the three things that I'm going to add there's publisher and that is what is going to actually display the publisher on our site. It may make sense for me to add a little label before it. So the label publisher is then going to be followed by the actual publisher of the book. I'm going to go ahead and repeat that process. I'm going to add a label, publishing date, then the squiggly brackets or the braces, the at sign, and then the publishing date and then finally the author publisher publishing date and author I mentioned that we may need to write just a little bit of HTML code if we publish the template like this the template will show in plain text basically everything will be squished together so I'm going to add just a paragraph tag around each of these so that they are separated when they appear on the page. And you can do far more sophisticated templates if you want to. You could add more HTML, you could add CSS in here. You can do whatever you wish and you can add more details from the pod that you've created. But we're going to start off with a fairly simple example and we're going to click publish at that point. There's only one more thing that we need to do now in order to make it easy for people creating books to see the content when it appears on their site. And that's to connect this new books template to the books pod. So I'm going to go to edit pods. I'm going to click edit next to books. And Remember back when we installed pods, we also installed a second plugin called the Frontier Auto Template. And there's going to be a tab up the top provided by that plugin. And what we're going to do is enable automatic templates. So basically, people don't have to do any work. It's going to be automatic. Every time they add a book, our books template is going to be used. Now, it is a little frustrating. This doesn't fill in automatically. You do have to remember what you actually called your template. So check the box and then write in the name of the template that you've created. And you can decide whether the template appears after, before, 
or completely replaces the main content. I'm going to start fairly simply and I'm just going to choose after so it's going to appear underneath the main title and the body of the books that I create. And then finally, click Save Pod.